Hi guys, Mark here, and I'm in Sevilla, Spain, and today what we're going to talk about is the difference between brand identity and brand image, okay? When you have your brand for your products, for your company, for your services, whatever, it's something special. You're trying to pass on an experience. That's what a brand is. It's an experience that people want to have. So every time they buy, they know what they're going to be getting. They know what's going to happen. Now the thing is, we can't always control everything, but some things we can. And the stuff we can control about our brand is our brand identity. The colors we use, the name we choose, the, the propaganda, propaganda, the commercials we use, all these things we can control. That is part of our identity. identity because we define it. And that's one thing, you have to do this with your brand because if you're not out there having your social website pages, doing your commercials, working on the word of mouth, someone else will be and you won't have control over it. So your brand identity, you really, really need to manage. So make sure that your values and your visions for your company are coming through. You set those things out there so all of your workers know so people can build that brand and they know what it means when you have a product from them, from that brand, it goes through. And that's your brand identity. You build it up. You have control over it. The colors, the names, the logos, the values you promote, the way you sell, these things you can dictate. Okay, that's your brand identity. The thing is, on the other side, you have what's called your brand image. This is what people outside your company think about your brand. And you can't always control that. You know, someone hears, oh, I heard this phone exploded. That must be a bad brand. But that wasn't that company's fault. That was a one-time experience. You know, you, want, you see things online. You see a children's meal sitting there for six months at a time. It says, oh, this has been sitting for six months and nothing happened. Is it safe to eat? Well, this restaurant can't control what people put on the internet. They can only put out what they can. But it's still, those things that are out there, it still affect their brand image. Because the images are the perceptions that people have of your brand. Okay? You can't control everything because it is judgmental. Because what you think is a good idea, someone else may think is a bad idea. So you've got to be careful on that. Okay? Because this brand image, it's based on their individual judgments, their individual experiences. And you'll see it. You have friends that have gone to a restaurant and they think it's the greatest thing ever. You go and have one bad experience and you hate it for the rest of your life. That's how it happens with brands as well, okay? So your brand image, you can't control. You can only try to influence your brand image in the population by controlling the brand identity, doing those things that you can do to control the way it's being sold, the way it's being seen, the colors, the names, the logos, all these things. And remember, you want all of them to link together because if your brand isn't consistent, again and again, people won't really be sure what your brand stands for, all right? So be careful with that. So that's kind of your difference between a brand identity, the things you can control and your brand image, the things you can't control that are outside your influence. For more stuff, business videos, marketing, all kinds of stuff, check out our website www.waltersworld.com and buy from Sevilla, Spain.